Hi, I'm Josh, a technical support engineer for Papercut based out of our Melbourne office. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a print deploy. In this video, we're going to go over the cloning process, setting up print deploy zones, and deploying printers out to a user's machine. So, let's get started. First, let me show you my Papercut server. It's a pretty simple setup. I've got two printers, one at each of my two buildings. I want users in the north building to only have access to the north building printer, and the same for users in the south building. My network is set up in such a way that the buildings are on slightly different IP ranges. This will come in handy when defining my zones later. With that in mind, let's get our reference machine all organized. A reference machine is a computer we'll use to deploy our print queues out to the old-fashioned way, get them set up from a user's perspective, and then clone the settings back to the Papercut server. This is the computer the print deploy cloner tool will actually be run on, which will clone this data back to the print deploy server. We need to do this for all print queues our users will print to. Some important things to keep in mind when it comes to reference machines is that they are supposed to mimic a user's machine, so they cannot be the paper cut or print server. Also, if your environment has users on different operating systems, you need a reference machine for each of those operating systems. Here I am on my reference machine. I have no printers installed on it. So I'm just going to connect to them from the print server. Now I want to get them all set up the same way a user would want them. Managing things like simplex and duplex, color or grayscale. Then I would want to do a test print to each just to make sure that they work. Now that everything is how I want it, all I have to do is clone these printers back to the print server. I'll log into my Papercut admin console. Navigate to the Enable Printing tab. And click here to download the cloner tool. Once it's download, I'll simply run it on this reference computer. It will discover all the print queues, zip up all the relevant data, like the settings and drivers used, and send them back to the server. Perfect, now that that's done, we can set up our zones. Back in the Enable Printing tab, we can see our cloned print queues are visible here on the right. All we need to do now is add them into zones. First, we click the Add Zone button and we'll give the zone a name. We'll do this one for our north building first. A display name is the name that will be visible from the user client. We'll keep it the same. Next, we have to choose how we will decide who will receive the printers. This can be done via IP address range or via user groups. In this instance, we're just going to use IP address range. You can also use a combination of IP address ranges and user groups, if you so choose. For us, in this example, we're just going to go with our um, small IP range that is relevant for my setup. And save that one. Finally, we add the printer to the zone by ticking the box next to the printers we want to add into the zone and clicking connect to zone. Finally, clicking save and deploy, we'll save that setting and now it is ready to be deployed. 
I'll quickly just create my second zone following the same steps I just did, but changing the IP address range for my south building. I will also point out that zones aren't the only way to deploy printers. There is also the print deploy self-service option, which is covered in our print deploy help center, links to which is in the description of this video. Okay, that's everything in the print deploy admin screen completed. Now we'll move over to my client machine to test everything out. The first thing we need to do here on the client machine is to install the print deploy client. It's up to you how you deploy the client out to your users. You can use a device management solution like Microsoft Intune, Jamf, Google Enterprise Administration, etc. It's up to you. I'm just going to download it directly from the server by going to my server name slash 9191 forward slash print deploy forward slash client setup forward slash the operating system I'm on, which in this case is Windows. Then click this big green download button. Once the MSI is downloaded, simply run it and click through the install. Once installed, the client will start to run. Since I'm signed in to the domain with my Papercut user, the client knows who I am. If I wasn't, it would ask for my Papercut username and password. As you can see, it's reached out to the server and installed the printer for the North building, which is the IP range this machine is currently in. I'll now change the IP address over to the IP range for the south building to simulate moving across. Now, I could wait for the client to check against the server for new printers automatically, which by default happens every 15 minutes, or I could manually run the check by right clicking on the little printer icon down in the bottom right tray here and clicking on refresh my printers now. There, it's removed the north building printer and installed the south building printer. I'll send a quick test print through to it and log into the admin console to show that it went through. There, all done. If you need more information on print deploy, head over to papercut.com. In our support section, you'll have access to our extensive knowledge base articles, which are full of information on all things papercut. Here, you'll also find our Print Deploy Help Center, which is everything you need to know for configuring and troubleshooting your Print Deploy setup. I've been Josh from Papercut. Thanks for watching.